I'm NASA Curriculum Specialist Rochelle Oblak here to discuss the procedures for completing the Vegetable Light Curves activity. In this video, I will discuss how to gather and analyze the data that simulates the reflective brightness of distant asteroids. First, you need to build and distribute the motors or an alternative to student groups of at least three students. A separate video outlines how to make the apparatus. You may also choose to have students assemble their own apparatus. Students should have two potatoes, one roughly spherical and the other elongated. Find the center of gravity of both potatoes and mark the location. To find the center of gravity, attach a string around the potato and find the location where the potato is roughly balanced. Gently push the spherical potato on its center of gravity onto the mounting pins. Turn on the motor to make sure that there is minimal wobble. If the potato wobbles excessively in any direction, remount the potato as needed. Students should be eye level in a darkened room to make their observations. Turn on your light source and then students will actually stare at the potato to see if they notice any changes in the brightness as over time. You will unmount the first potato and then you will mount the elongated potato horizontally onto the mounting pins. Again, the pin should be near the center of gravity. Students again stare at the potato while it rotates and compare the spherical and elongated potato observations. Next, students should record the time it takes for a potato to make 10 complete revolutions. Finally, mount the elongated potato in a vertical position and repeat the same procedures. Next, students make a graphical estimate of the fraction of the potato seen versus time. You can make this easier for students by having the students raise their hand to the highest position when they see maximum brightness and to the lowest position when they see the least brightness. Student partners record and trace the path of motion of the observer's hand. Students will repeat this procedure for each of the three potato trials. Advanced students can even use light sensitive data logging equipment to obtain real data on reflective brightness. You may also choose to have students divide their potatoes into quadrants and draw the percentage of potato visible using a Cartesian plane. Students analyze their data by answering critical skills questions at the end of the student pages. The answer key and other suggested resources are available in the teacher's guide to the activity.